Hey, your home bakers and a happy new year. It's Jack here, bakerjack.co.uk, bringing you the first bread making tip of 2018. And today's not really a bread making tip, it's more of just thoughts out of my brain about 2018, because it's January and it's time to eat healthy, right? Hmm, or is it? So it's that time of year, it's January, and it's the time where we all jump on bandwagons left, right and centre to make changes in our life. And I do it too. I must admit I do it too. I vow to do things in January. I vow to work uh, to work out three times a week and get fit uh, every single week for the rest of the foreseeable future. And I vow to eat properly and not drink any alcohol and stuff like that. And sometimes I stick to these things and sometimes I don't. And that's just the way that it goes. But this year I have made a promise to bring you more content better content, more recipes and more videos like this, and I've got myself a little bit more organised, got a nice little schedule to help me out to make sure that that does happen. So this week I thought it might be a little bit fun to go a little bit off piste. I want to talk a little bit about the bread that we buy and the bread that we make, and there's certain little differences that I've touched on before, but there's one difference, uh, there's one thing that I'm really passionate about, which is the fact that they both seem to be bundled in together with a bad reputation, which is a real shame. And if you are making bread at home, you'll know the joys. You'll know the joy and the craft and the time and the effort and the love that you put in to bring that warm, crusty loaf of bread out of the oven, have a little party to yourself, sit and watch it cool down as it makes that crackling singing noise and enjoy all the smells and lovely aromas and then you would cut it open, oh my goodness, you haven't even eaten it yet and when you cut it open and toast it or make a sandwich or do what you want or bake a cheese and have a little dip, it's the most unbelievable thing in the world. Far from a white sliced loaf in a plastic bag that stays exactly as what it is for the next 14 days in a row. Now you'll know I do a lot of food festivals and I speak to a lot of people and I say, hey madam, Sir, are you home bakers? Do you bake bread at home? Would you like to learn with me? And they say to me, oh no, bread? Oh no, I don't eat bread. I cut bread out of my diet years ago because it's not healthy for me and it's not good for me and stuff like that. And that's a real shame. And in January, we're all obsessed with making our lives healthier and feeling more energetic and all these other things. And I feel like bread has got a bad reputation. Now the bread that we buy in the supermarket, let's face it, is I want to say crap, but I don't want you to think bad because I'm using bad language. Below average. It's boring, it's tasteless, it's got no strength and no structure, it's not even bread. Yeah, it's made out of some of the same things that bread is actually made out of, but it's got a lot of other bits and bobs in it that bread is not made out of, and it's a little bit, I feel a little bit cheesed off because we're all getting hoodwinked by what we think is bread when it's not bread. Bear with me. This is bread, I ate half of it already by accident, and this is bread as well. I ate half of that by accident as well. And that's exactly the point I'm trying to make. I can easily eat half a loaf of bread by accident of bread that's proper and bread that I've made and bread that's made out of ingredients that's good for me, but I would never ever sit down and eat half a loaf of sliced white anemic floppy doughy bread out of a plastic bag, because this is wholesome and delicious, and it's 100% wholemeal flour, spelt flour, and it's really, really tasty, it comes out of my new course. Yeah. Now, I'm no nutritionist, okay, and there's the disclaimer, by the way. I'm not a nutritionist. I know absolutely nothing about nutrition, but it makes sense to me in my heart and soul that eating something real is better than eating something fake, right? So let's not cut everything out altogether. Eating healthy is a good thing, but I think there's a difference between eating healthy and eating well, and eating real food. Eating healthy has all the negative things going on in the back of my head. Oh, eating healthy, or oh, that lettuce, lettuce and lemons. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna eat healthy. I wanna eat well. I wanna eat real food. And that's what I'm dedicating this year to. In 2018, it's January, I'm gonna eat well. I'm gonna eat proper food that's made with proper ingredients. Because I believe that's gonna do me good. And I hope you do as well. Wholesome food, not healthy food. Food to nourish my body and soul. And that's the difference. I feel like healthy food is a little bit negative. It's a bit of a chore, I don't wanna go there. But wholesome, good food, real food, uh, is the name of the game. Let's eat well in 2018. Let's eat well, proper bread. I'm gonna go and polish 
the other half of this. Hey, I'll tell you what this week, I always wonder how many people are actually making bread uh, who are watching my videos. Because it would be really interesting whether you're watching for educational purposes and entertainment in a, in a sense, or if you're watching for the uh, bread making tips because you're making bread at home regularly and this is what you do. So listen, if you're making bread at home and if you're not making bread at home, I want to hear about it in the comments underneath. That would be awesome. Scroll down to the comments underneath and let me know. And if you are that person who's thinking about making bread in 2018 but you're not quite sure how or what to do first, go and check out the recipes on my website, bakewithjack.co.uk. There's a blog there and there's a whole database of other stuff on there as well. And I'm going to bring more recipes this year. It's going to be awesome. And I'm also going to arrange it in a bit more user-friendly fashion because I feel like it's a little bit complex. But go there, try out some of my recipes, and always, always, always let me know how you get on. You can find me on social media platforms at Bake with Jack. So, hey, thank you very much for watching this video today. A little bit of a rant, sorry about that. But listen, uh, I'm just trying to get into the spirit of the new year, get some of that enthusiasm out and start the year on a good foot. And I hope you are too. So thank you very much. I'll be here with a bread tip next week. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.